This is Maggie holding her own tail to clean it. Oh, now it flopped out. She's just gonna keep going. Oh, are you helping? DJ's gonna help. Look how cute she is. So as you guys know, Maggie's sister, Fig, got adopted this morning. So Maggie's the only cat uh, that's still adoptable that's just running around the house. I hope somebody puts in an application for her soon because she really is sweet. As you can see. We also have... Coming around here. Oh, hi, Maggie. You want to say anything to your fans? Nope. Logan Bunny's over here, too. Hey, Logan Barry. Oh, with the fire in the background. Looking pretty good, buddy. He's not going to wake up from his nap for you. No, he's just chilling. So, we did a uh, mailbag today. Oh, here's Custard. Hang on. Interrupt myself. Hi, Custard. You fixing up the sofa for us, I see. Good work. I'm sure the sofa needed that. All right. So, uh, what was I saying? Mailbag today. We had uh, part two of the mailbag, and we'll get part one and part two online soon. All together, it was like three and a half hours of mailbag this weekend, and we didn't finish... There's still, uh, I think, five packages left that we're just going to bump to next week. That's crazy. Christmas time at the Kitten Academy is apparently something else altogether. What'd you say, Acro? Well, say it to everybody. Really? How long have you felt this way, Acro? So, yeah, mailbag, though. Wow, it was exceptional. Um, just all so much amazing stuff sent today and yesterday. Well, I guess technically it was sent all week and probably a little bit before that, but so such amazing stuff that we opened today and yesterday. I was super impressed. Plus, uh, um, Budgie also, so I told you earlier that Fig got adopted today. Budgie also got adopted today, this afternoon, and that went very well, too. They're both of uh, they're both gone to great great homes, so I'm, we're just really excited about it. Uh, we've already gotten some updates. Sassy just had to be in front of the camera, so she just came and laid right on top of a uh, little finch there. That's great, Sassy. Nice work. Anyway, uh, yep, yeah, Fig and Bud Budgie both now have gone on to their adopters which is uh, kind of a big deal and makes this room feel a little bit more empty already, especially with Ren gone too. That leaves Finch here. Finch is the only one of the burbs that hasn't been picked up by her adopter yet, although she has an official adopter. We're just waiting to make sure that she's perfectly well before she goes home. Probably this coming Friday, that would be my guess. It's kind of the plan anyway. But Sassy still needs an adopter. Sassy, now you can look at me. No, she's playing with one of the toys that came in the mailbag today. She's a big fan of some of the stuff that came today. Oh, Gracie also still needs an adopter. Gracie, hey, showing us her good side. Come here, Gracie. Come here, hi, Gracie. Hey, hey, look at the camera. Do you know how to look at the camera? Oh, so uh, Cashew, another one that still needs her adopter too. Hi, Cashew. You're so cute. you got big eyes. Yes, you look like Puss in Boots. Everybody says so. And, of course, Chestnut also is one that still needs an adopter. So we're working on all that. I hope they find their places soon. Uh, as usual, you know, you can apply to adopt them just by going to our website, which is kitten.academy. 
There's an application right there on the website. You just fill it out. Good to go. Cashew is looking especially bloated again, so I'm hoping that when she goes for her spay on Tuesday, she's going to get spayed on Tuesday, the vet will have a chance to check her out and see what's going on. Maybe she just needs a different dewormer. We've already given her one, but you know, different dewormers work on different kinds of worms, so it could be something like that. Probably nothing more to it than that. I'm sure we'll find out. Hi, Sassy. Came right up and got in my lap while nobody was looking. You look so much like a Maggie. I know. Now, I keep saying that it would be really cool if somebody adopted Sassy and Chestnut together because they really get along well as sisters. But uh, I think it would be just as good if somebody adopted either one of them individually. They just, they're both super loving sweet cats. And Chessie making some biscuits. It's good, Chessie. Nice work. Hi, Gracie. Ready for her extreme close-up, apparently. <laughs> what is it, Chessie? You're being a little cutie bean. I think Finch is feeling a lot better already. She's been eating plenty of food on her own. In fact, I stopped syringe feeding her yesterday at lunch. That was her last one. And as long as I feel like she's still eating just fine, we won't have to do that anymore. But she's still getting her antibiotics uh, every 12 hours until, uh, well, probably until she gets adopted on Friday. And, but it's mostly precautionary at this point. I think she just had a little bit of a stomach bug and she's already over it. That's what I think. She's got the cutest face, doesn't she? She's like a cartoon. Mm -hmm. I already feel like I'm missing kittens for this close-up without Ren yeah. or Budgie here. I'm like, well now wait, who am I forgetting that I'm not showing? Hi, without you, Ren and Budgie, I'm missing her? somebody. What is it? What has she got there? Oh, did I didn't see that she her? was sitting on that. Did you bring this here, little Francesca? She must have brought it herself. Mm. Those things are a big hit. No, oh, she was sitting on something else too? How much is under there, Finch? Maybe we just put things on the bean bag and no. then she sat on it? I don't know. <laughs> you like it? Finchu? Finchy. Oh. I like that she doesn't feel so warm. Yeah, no, I think she's doing much better already. Come on, chickens. Jessica? Hi, Jessica. There may be another explanation for why this one's got such a big belly. Yeah. I can't imagine what it might be. She's been eating for this entire close-up stream now. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, this cat toy right here, you guys should see this on the close-up. This thing has been such a huge hit today. It came in the mailbag. And I didn't even get a chance to look at it before Sassy dug into the box and stole it. Took it, she found it, took it out of the box, and then ran away with it and was growling and carrying it around for all of this morning's mailbag. She's obviously still pretty fond of it. And it is a huge smash hit as a cat toy.
This bed's pretty cool too. Uh, our friend Deb, the one, the same one that brought us Gracie. You remember when uh, Chris and Deb uh, brought Gracie along with uh, Chris's wife and Deb's sister. They brought us uh, these little ring toys that are such a big deal today. And also this bed, which is actually made out of an old sweater. I think you can tell if you look at that. Uh, if you look on this side, you can see where the neck hole's all stitched up. And then the arms are what makes the, the ring around the side of the bed. And then the middle part is obviously the body of the sweater. It's all been stuffed with some filling. And it's a really cool way to recycle these things. They've got a friend that makes them. And they brought us two, one for each room. They're really, really beautiful. Make excellent cat beds, I think. What a great idea. All right, well, let's go check on our new mom cat real quick, and then we'll call this stream done for tonight. Oh, but a couple people to see here first. I see Maggie, you made it upstairs. Nice work, Mags. And I also see we have an Eddie here. Is this Eddie or is it Jessica? No, it's Eddie. We know. They sure do look similar though, don't they? A little bit of that. <laughs> He's gonna sniff out Mags a little bit. What are you waiting here for, Eddie? You looking for some food, buddy? Yeah. Apparently so. He's gonna follow you because he thinks you've got the food. Yeah, he had dinner. Everybody ate dinner. Eddie's just looking for second dinner. It's not time yet. Sevensies. It's nineties. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. He wants sevensies. He'll take nineties too in a couple hours. All right, let's go see our friend Quiche. Quiche Lorraine. Oh, hi, Elsie. Didn't expect to see you blocking the door. You're a good girl. Okay. There we go. A little bit of the old hand wash academy for me. Hang on one second, folks. Brief interruption. All right. So you'll notice that today we started setting up a birthing box for our mom cat Lorraine. Uh, it's not quite completely set up yet. So far it's just a cardboard box with a hole cut in it and a blanket and the other sweater bed in it. Isn't that a cute sweater bed by the way? But uh, as we'll, pretty soon we'll get the light installed, we'll get the webcam installed just like we always do. And I think DJ's going to use some Christmas paper on the inside to make it feel a little more homey. Christmas wrapping paper, so that's a cute idea too, if you ask me. That'll all happen over the next couple days. We're not in a huge hurry because if the vet's right, Lorraine here has still got probably mm, three weeks before she delivers, maybe even a little bit more. So we'll see. She is starting to look pretty round though. Look at all that. Very round, yes. I just love her little short tail. It's so short. Today we learned Keish is not a big fan of loud noises or change. When uh, first off, I started watching TV in here, and she was very suspicious of my phone where the TV was playing. She thought the noises coming from it were really weird. Then I tried to put together that cardboard box in here. It's a big box. And uh, I was flipping it around and it was making the noise that cardboard boxes make when you flip them around. And uh, she got kind of panicked for a minute. She came right back around as soon as I stopped and I told her everything was okay. Then she was fine, but definitely not a fan of noises, loud noises at this point in her... In her uh, Pregnancy, maybe? I don't know if it's just always her personality or if it's the pregnancy, but might end up being best for her if she goes to a home that's relatively quiet. Or just where she's got a safe place to run away to when she gets spooked. You know, Eddie's that way and Loganberry's that way too. Loganberry will run away from stuff he doesn't recognize. 
then he comes back around after a while. She's so sweet. She's also, she doesn't like to play. Like, we've given her all these toys. We've tried her on different toys and stuff. She doesn't care. She doesn't care at all. We've tried her on string toys and balls and catnip. Doesn't seem to care about any of it. But she does care about getting pet. Like, she just goes nuts. She comes up. She rubs on you. She rolls around. Oh, that's all she wants. More pettins. Belly rubs. Oh, yeah. Some belly rubs. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Right there. Very big on all that stuff.